This week's Parsha, or Torah portion, we actually cycle through reading the entire Torah over the span of a year, and so this week's portion is called Ha'azinu. Daniel's going to talk a little bit about Ha'azinu in just a couple minutes, but I want to highlight another piece of where we are in Jewish time and Jewish consciousness. We just finished the High Holidays, we just got through Yom Kippur, everybody can breathe a little bit easier having finished that day in services and the fast and everything that comes with it. Traditionally in Torah though, we're still in a time of celebration as we're coming up on this holiday of Sukkot. If you look out in the courtyard, you can see it out there, I think, I don't know if it's been taken down, but I think it's out there, this Sukkah, it's this uh, dwelling that we have. It's traditional during this holiday to sit outside, you could have a meal out in the Sukkah or even sleep outside in it. And it's an interesting, impermanent, temporary dwelling that we put up this time of year. It's supposed to be covered, but not entirely. You couldn't put a tarp over the top of it, for instance, or build a uh, some kind of complete surface. It's got to be partially covered, but partially let in the air, the wind, the rain, whatever is out there in the elements. This is because Sukkot sort of contains an interesting binary. You're supposed to be outside. You're not, you know, in the air conditioning or anything like that. But you're also supposed to be inside. You're supposed to be partially covered so that you're experiencing being outside, but that you're also inside and you're also embraced. You're also held within that space as well. It captures both of these pieces. Sukkot, I think, in this way is an invitation for us to think about the ways that we are in or out. For some of you, this is your sanctuary. This is your holy space. You've been here plenty of times before. Others of you may have come from far away. This may be a new space, a new place to you. Um, It may feel more out than in, in that sense. And so Sukkot, I think, is a reminder for all of us to reach out, that sometimes we are all out. I think middle school is a time when it's very easy, all of these revolving social circles and times and who's in, who's out, who your friends are, that all changes. It's a lot of revolving door of being in and out at the same time. So Sukkot, I think, provides an invitation to us to reach out when we do find ourselves in, whether that's indoors, in shelter, having the wherewithal to help others, to reach to the outside, to help those who are out, who might be on the outside, in use of a little bit of shelter or embrace or help in that sense. It sort of gives us this sense that we are all inside and outside. We're shifting between these two moments constantly on our lives in terms of our communities, where it is we're comfortable, who we're with, being in and out. And I think it can be just a little reminder to all of us to reach out, to bring in those who are on the outside during this time in this year. Baruch Tiyah. Ya Modri, Sean, grandparents, 